So it's, there haven't been very many. So it's really easy to answer that question. There have been a lot of false eureka moments. There have been so many times when I thought, oh, of course, you know, I've got, it all comes together. Now I understand, and, it, and, I, and you can explain it all in it. And I'll run and tell one of my colleagues, and they'll listen, and they don't seem nearly as so inspired. And of course, it was wrong. Uh, but the few that really mattered and that have stuck and that I knew at the outset, I mean, I could, not only the fingers of one hand, but only a few fingers of one hand. I mean, I, when I was a graduate student, then I had that idea one night of uh, asking the question about the uh, dynamics of biological membranes, which was a question that I also thought I could solve, and I did. Uh, that was something I'll never forget. When I was a postdoctoral fellow and I discovered the nucleosome, and I can remember in vivid detail every moment where I was standing, what I was looking at, it, it took me a long time to convince anyone else that I was right. I mean, the people who were my supposed supervisors at the time were Francis Crick and Aaron Klug, both famous scientists. Uh, they didn't believe me. Then only did they not believe, they didn't want to believe me. Because if I was right, then they were wrong because they had other ideas. But I knew I was right. And it was just exhilarating. That moment was absolutely one worth living for. 